This is, this is the most threatened area from a south wind. And we're up here today, we had crews there all day yes, yesterday, kind of preparing structures, cutting fuel, vegetation away from buildings and roads. Today we're going to put up a sprinkler system where we essentially put like uh, industrial scale garden sprinklers on top of the roofs of all these buildings mm -hmm. and all their grounds and we'll be coming out of the lake to just totally saturate this camp area. And should the fire move towards the north, we'll probably use retardant planes to uh, knock down the flame lengths as it moves towards the camp. If that happens today, we would use retardant planes to kind of dampen the fire behavior. Again, that retardant does not put the flame out, but it does knock down the fire behavior and we get a little lower flame length. And it will burn through it eventually, but we can cut down the intensity of the fire as it approaches that direction. And the fourth thing we're doing today is we're going to build, uh, reinforce these roads uh, with some dozer clearing, and we're going to build a fire line from Chapita Park up towards Eagle Camp to start, for the first time, checking the spread of the fire up the canyon. So we're going to start working on a fire line here that's well ahead of the fire flame front. This is um, a good mile or two ahead of the, the flame front, at least as it was drawn last night. We'll start putting a fire line in here. And as the flame comes closer, we'll have to burn out from, the, what we'll do is we'll do, use retardant ships to drop fire retardant in the green area behind the fire line to coat the trees and make them less response, less available to spot fires. Because as this fire burns, it's gonna, remember, it's just not the flame front. It's throwing embers a quarter to a mile ahead of it. So we'll use retardant ships um, to, you know, Typically, now I, you know, when they actually get to doing this, maybe in a day or two, it might be different. But this okay. is the, the standard practice would be to use retardant ships to coat this vegetation behind the fire line to cut down on the potential for spot fires. These areas here, all these things that are outside the main flame front, these are all from embers coming out of the smoke column and landing a quarter to a mile ahead of the fire and starting new fires ahead. So we don't want that to happen here, so we'll use retardant to help reduce the risk of that. And then as the fire gets closer, we would burn out from that fire line. Okay, so, I mean, obviously you don't want any of this to burn, but as long as it's heading this direction, is that kind of the best case scenario? Well, this is the, the best case scenario. Uh, winds from the south push it away from most of the uh, developed areas. Mm -hmm. A little rough, rough for Eagle Lake Camp, but uh, for the rest of the, development in Colorado Springs and up Highway 24 winds from the north from the south is probably a, a pretty good scenario. The disadvantage is that that will push the fire into much more rugged terrain for our firefighters but it is good for um, the urban areas and protect, keeping fire out of away from homes. And I know you kind of said it's very crucial to keep it north of 24 because once it gets into this canyon it kind of works as like a, a tunnel. A right? chimney. Okay. Like, yeah, just like kind of, it acts as a draft, just like a chimney it would in a, a home. So how close, I mean, it lo it's looking like it's getting pretty close. It, is this still being held here, this line? Uh, this fire is, is, we have no fire line here yet. It's, it's just slowly backing down towards Highway 24. If it gets closer to Highway 24, we'll have to take more active um, actions to hold it on 24. Right now, we're just allowing it to back down. We're, and we're focusing our efforts on Cascade okay. and protecting the subdivision. If it gets down to 24, we'll have to shift forces down there. But right now it's backing this way slowly down towards the highway. Uh, this is um, basically some of these, that's maybe a quarter mile or less, okay. thousand, less than a thousand feet from the highway. Okay. 